Okay, something a bit odd going on with this, so I thought I'd film it. Uh, it's e either me having a um, difficulty getting my head around this, or, th or this switch is doing something very odd. Um, it's a low pressure switch. So, it should be uh, when that little lever is pushed over, it should be on. Okay, so it should be made. So, as the pressure comes up in the bellows, pushes that little lever up here, pushes that arm over and makes makes contact. Well, this one is already pushed over as far as it should, should go. Um, that, that bit there is on the bellows. If I push that down, as you can see that, that piece, that, that is actually making That should be on now because that's all the way over. So something's gone wrong in there, and that switch is now working opposite to how it should do, um, which I've, I've never seen one do before, unless I'm um, being particularly stupid today. But yeah, that is the bellows. So low pressure switch, pressure drops, it should go off, and it should make as the pressure comes up. Oh, I've turned it off, but yeah, it's. Uh, Something not right with that. Right, it's, I've just pushed the contact in and it stayed in, but we should be able to see where that little arm has dropped down. There's a, there's a gap in there now, so that, that... That arm has moved over. Right, is it? So you can see where the pressure's dropped. Or well, I had done, it's come up a bit. Um, that bellows has come down. That arm has moved over because we can. Yeah. Something's gone wrong in the mechanism in there. Well, that's a new one. I suppose this, this switch is uh, E N E N N. What's N? Uh, L M N P ninety six ninety five. So it's twenty six years old. Yeah, that's the same registration as car registration. E would be the f um, fifth. Is it fifth month? May May ninety six ninety five. Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen one do that before. Right, this is on R22, which we're not allowed to work on. So I can't legally pump it down and change that and leave the R22 in there. Um, so I'm not geared up to change the gas, um, dryer, solenoid and side glass on the tank. Um, these are difficult to change the oil in, so I'd have to get a drop in gas, which I don't think I've got. So I'd have to buy some or take the compress off, ungraze it, tip the oil out, and so on and so forth. So, what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to pump it down so there's no pressure in that bellows just by pushing the contactor in, and then I think we can undo these four screws. Maybe take the bellows off the new switch and swap it over, and then see if it works. If it's the mechanism in the switch that's playing up, then it hopefully will start working again. Um, I can't see if the bellows could be faulty, but it may, maybe it's worn on the top, we don't know. But that's what we're going to try. If that doesn't work, then we're going to have to come back um, and uh, have a bit of an upgrade. Okay, that's the bellows. And it has this little uh, anvil, or whatever you want to call it, that sits in the middle. And then in the bottom, there's like a, maybe a, a recess piece where the uh, that pushes against. 
Cheers, sir. The bottom of that piece, so I've marked it with an F for front, so that goes on there like that. So uh, we'll get that put on there, get the wire swapped over, and keep my fingers crossed. Okay, got that swapped over. Um, what I did was uh, held the contactor in so it would pump down and then um, shut that valve off <clears throat> so this was probably under a slight vacuum so we weren't going to damage the bellows you know with the pressure uh, it could over expand without this mechanism sat on top of it um, so I don't know what pressure that's going to come up to if anything so we'll uh, let's see if we can get this uh, cracked open Oh, you see that? That did move up. But not enough to make that switch. But enough to hold it in. So, if we turn that on, then poke that. There we go. Okay, well that seems to work. 